Hi again, it's me, Cinnamon, and today I'm budgeting my October sinking funds. I keep my sinking funds in a different budget because then I can get as granular as I want without having to worry about my budget getting too big. So I'm going to go over what I want to contribute to my specific groups and then figure out what I want to contribute generally in November. So starting with my hobby sinking fund, I did buy Apple Care this month. I thought it'd be $89.99, but it was actually $99.99, and I can cover that overspending with my whole time. The rest of these items here, I don't really know when I want to get them, and I don't really feel like getting them anytime soon, but I will add the amount I can expect to pay and just create a goal for, um, for a year from now. One thing that was surprising was getting a desktop is actually cheaper than getting a laptop. These are both uh, Apple products. I don't know if it's just because of the specific customizations I got in each one, but I was really surprised to see how much cheaper it was to get the desktop. So I'm just going to add $9.99 to round this out to $60 and probably not contribute to it for a few months. And I'll be adding and tracking this in Google Sheets. Next, I sent $240 to this category in October, and I'm going to move that $240 to my dermatologist because I am hoping to be able to go to the dermatologist in November. I also have to move $10 to cover my Safeway Fresh Pass which I'm actually not sure if I will renew next year. And I'll move the remaining 50 to give me a little bit more flexibility in my glasses if I choose to get something more expensive next year or in November when I, when am I getting my glasses? I think I'm getting my glasses in December, but I'll just keep this funded like that. That was actually the goal I had for this. Oh no, it was $10 was the goal, yeah. I'll actually move the 50 back because I don't know when I'm going to get these glasses. Since it will be in December. Not sure if I want to keep it or leave it. I'll keep it. So what I want to contribute next month is $10 for Safeway. I want to contribute here for getting going to my primary care physician in December. I do have a big braces payment I will be making next month. I'll add the goal for that. I could actually end up paying a lot more for this if my insurance doesn't go through how I plan, but I'll just leave it to my goal number. I really hope the insurance does go through. So I'll have to put the whole 780, then I'll have to put $10, and then I'll have to put 120, and I will put an extra $50 just as a buffer, I think. So let me do that in Google Sheets. So I have to put $10 for Safeway, 780 for the braces, 120 for my doctor and then I'll put 50 as a buffer so that actually really gets super high but that is how things are with medical expenses okay this is good for now go next door I have my hair appointment funded I will be spending that in November, hopefully. Again, I don't know when these things will be happening, so I don't necessarily want to put money in them for now. I would put the whole 140 in shopping, but I don't know if that's like enough to get what I want to get with. For this category, I will contribute. Hmm, I want to start buying some room decor in December and yeah, maybe do some shopping in December. So let's say I'll contribute 
How much do I think the room decor would be? How much was my shopping goal? Oh yeah, this was like a long term shopping goal. Um I'll do sixty more for shopping. And how much do I think the room decor would be? Maybe two forty, so that's gonna come out to three hundred dollars. I do not know if I'm gonna actually be able to contribute this much just given what's happening with my house, but this is just planning. I am pretty flexible on my sinking funds because as you can see, a lot of the stuff doesn't have like deadlines. So yeah. Next for financial planning, I'm just gonna focus on adding more for Y now. I did that this month. And I will do that again next month. Here, I just contributed $10. I'll do another $10 and I'm not planning to really figure out what to do with this yet. I'm just generally building up in this category. Here, yeah, I'm not doing anything here again. Here, um, I will put the $5 for my friend's birthday. And I will be using the donations group in 2023 and figuring out how much I want to donate to the specific uh, charity I give to. They give like different tiers every year. So I don't know what the tiers are going to be for next year, but I guess I could hide this for now. I don't really have anything else I want to do with this. I know I'm getting someone a gift. Let me see. How do I create a new? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot how to create a new category. I'll just call them random gifts. I'm getting someone a random gift next month. So to this, I'll add 60 cents. $10.60 just to get it to 30. This is zero. This is $10 and 60 cents. Oh, and the $5 to keep up with my friend's birthday. Finally, I have to figure out some things I'm doing for my family. This is like my biggest consideration and the thing that always confuses me the most. I'm gonna keep up with this one because it's a deadline I do wanna stick to. Now for the rest of this, it's kind of hard to split it up this way. I don't think I'm going to be coming home anytime soon. I'm trying to think if it's really possible for me to come home in December. It's not. I should pick a different time if I'm home. I'll try to come home, let's say, in March. Yeah, March would be a good time to come home. And I'll start funding this in the actual month it's going to happen, or not the actual, the year, next year. And move everything else here. I do want to contribute bits and pieces when we move another $10 to the I-30 fee. I do want to contribute. Hmm, I wonder why I need so much in birthday gifts. Oh, because I was trying to save by the 
be end of the year for my family's birthday since most birthdays are pretty early in the year. I'll try to contribute to that. Let's see what I'll do with this. I'll just move more to the i30 feed. And so there's no really real reason to keep things in holding if I know I ultimately want to work towards these goals. I don't have the exact value of my mom's debt payoff. That's something I have to figure out. And I'll try to just finish this. So that would be 240 to finish this next month. Oh, I guess I shouldn't make it such a high goal next month because I am spending a lot of money elsewhere. Yeah, I think birthday gifts can wait. I want to change this deadline. But it, it can't really wait, can it? Yeah, because the birthdays are so early. I have to actually do this on time. Oops, did I just delete it? It's not showing up. I think it's just a wind up thing. It's not showing up the amount I need. Well, I'll do 240 here. And then I'll need 120 here. And those will be my priority. The debt payoff will probably have to happen in March as well. So I'll just put $6,000 because I know it's probably around there. And that will happen by March. And I'm very behind now on this goal. Uh, I'll put the 190 there. I just like these numbers being even. So now I see the birthday amount that I need. What amount would I need? 250 and then 120. So that's 370. Two fifty plus one twenty, and then I'll add just a fifty dollar buffer. So this is how much I'll need to contribute to my sinking funds next month. I really don't know if I'll be able to do all of this. The main reason this is so high is because of my medical category, and if things don't really work out, the first things that are probably going are going to be this category and maybe some birthday funding because I don't need 250 yeah I'll just fund one birthday gift I think this is better yeah so that will keep me on track for my i9 funding and then also I can at least know I funded one birthday gift the first one and then I can figure things out later so that just drops things a bit and $300 was for house stuff. I think I can make do with 240 and I think even less. So this is looking a little bit more realistic. If I didn't have this really high medical one, it would be a lot more realistic. So I'm pretty happy with this and thanks for watching.